So you like to play the Pokemon Go, and you play it a lot, and a lot, and a lot, and you're like obsessed with it. Just like that. Well, we all have that one problem that we're all coming across if we play this game. And that is... We just can't get enough battery power to play Pokemon Go. The phones just keep dying. So especially if you're a serious player of this game. Look at this. I'm not a serious player. And just tonight when I went out and gained a level, I used 81% of my iPhone 6S battery. That's crazy. So, in this video, we're gonna show you some of the best power chargers for you Pokemon Go players and an accessory that could be a must, okay? So, let's quickly go through these and why I think these are going to be a great solution for the Pokemon Go players, all right? We'll just go left to right and we'll start down here in the corner. This is a Chiro. Now, the thing I like about this Chiro is it's very thin and lightweight, and it has 6,000 milliamps on board, but it also has a built-in micro USB cable. So if you've got an Android device and you want to go rock in this one, very easy to do. 6,000 milliamps is going to give you at least one and a half charges from dead, and this is very thin. And again, Built-in micro USB cable, Android lovers rejoice, this would be a good one for you. Next, if you're going to be outside, especially during the day, playing Pokemon Go, how about a solar charger? Just strap this on the back of your backpack or wherever that you're uh, at. <clears throat> Let it get some light. You can charge two devices at the same time with this guy. And you're going to be charging from the sun. And this again is a 6,000 milliamp, 22.2 watt uh, USB charger and this is a 2 amp out so it's going to charge your phone again about one and a half times and then this is going to keep charging while you're out from the sun so if you're out for a day trip <clears throat> a day excursion you're going to be out playing Pokemon Go for like, like an extended period of time and you're going to drain this thing then let it charge while you're out very cool option there next up and this is from Zero Lemon by the way I'll have links to all these in the show notes so just check it out but I just wanted to go through each one of these this is Vivint, or Viviant, I guess, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, this here is a little more compact and lightweight, uh, a little less on the power. Uh, in fact, I think this is just like, uh, this might be another 6,000 milliamp one. Oddly, it does not list it, but I'm pretty sure it is. So check the show notes in the link just to confirm. But this is super thin. This is just like carrying another phone. Uh, it's that thin and light. And let's just compare it to the Chiro. Uh, you can see it's about the same size, but it's definitely a little thinner. No built-in cable with this guy, but you can charge two devices at once uh, with this. And again, looks like a phone, pretty nice looking. Um, so it's another good option. Over here we've got the UNU. Now, what I like about the UNU here is, one, you can only charge one device at, at a time. And it's got USMART technology, uh, but this is very... Uh, small and it's 5,000 milliamps. It fits really good in a pocket with its little tube, uh, almost like a double lipstick tube case kind of thing here. Uh, and it's got a little power button, so you can definitely uh, charge devices with this. And again, it's 5,000 milliamps in a much smaller, but it's definitely thicker uh, design. But this might be better for your pocket. Next, Outfit your phone with a battery case. This is the Mophie one for the iPhone 6 and 6s uh, This will charge it at least one time from dead keep you charged So it's almost like going out with two charges in your phone Because uh, you can just leave this on and it'll just trickle charge your phone as you use it until this dies and then go through your phone's battery uh, So this is a very nice uh, solution uh, And then if you want to pair this with one of these cases or one of these chargers uh, You've got you know this plus your phone's battery, plus one of these chargers, and this is just going to be on your phone, so can't go wrong with that. Uh, let's move up to the top left. So this is one from Omaker, uh, as you can see here. Now, <clears throat> the, the reason I like this one is, one, this is 10,000 milliamps. It's really not 
difficult to pack around in your pocket. 2.1 amp outs. But the thing about this, now if you're going to be playing any kind of uh, Pokemon Go in the dark, you know, dawn, dusk, whatever, this battery bank has one of the brightest torch LEDs, so you're going to have a flashlight with you. Uh, let's just try to see if I can trigger the flashlight here. This is, uh-oh, may need a charge. This is definitely one of the brightest torches, but it looks like mine is now dead since I've been using it. You can see I'm not getting any uh, juice whatsoever there. Uh, but take my word for it, if you're looking for a battery bank with a very bright torch built in, this is it. One of the brightest ones I've come across. Most of them are small, this one's like a flashlight. Uh, so this will not only provide you some light, but it's going to provide you some juice. Two devices at once, 10,000 milliamps, one of the biggest ones we've looked at yet. Moving on, this is the My Charge. Now, why do I like this one? This one's really cool because you can plug it in wherever you're at if you got juice and, and charge it. So it's got built-in prongs, but it's also got built-in cables for both types of phones. You can rock your Android and your iPhone with the built-in cables with this guy. Uh, so, and you can see they just fold right in there real nice and easy. Uh, see I got a full charge there and if we look at the specs this bad boy comes in at a whopping let's see 6,000 milliamps as well so very nice because you've got both solutions so if you're going out and with two different people and maybe one of you have got an iPhone and one of you have got an Android have no fear you can both charge from this guy and you're going to actually take a little more uh, juice um, because you'll be charging two devices at once, but hey, you don't have to worry about lugging cables around. And this is relatively compact and small, so it's a win on that case. Next up, this is the, actually it's an Ingress charger, but this one is really cool. Two devices at once, one amp, 2.1 amp out. Uh, this is from the company, actually, Niantic. So... This is actually, I think, an anchor charger, but I could be wrong, but you can see it says Ingress. So if you're not familiar with Ingress, Ingress is the first game that Niantic, the makers of Pokemon Go, actually came out with. And it's very similar to Pokemon Go, only it's not, you know, it's kind of their own world and hacking portals and that kind of stuff, but it's very cool nonetheless. So if you like Pokemon Go, you might check out Ingress. But this charger was definitely branded for that game. And what's really cool about this charger is it is very lit up. Uh, not only does this part light up, if you're an English player, the whole battery bank out here lights up and it's just got an amazing little light show uh, that comes on and it just looks so cool. You can see I'm lighting up some more. It's just really a cool battery bank uh, and it is coming in at a whopping 12,000 milliamps, so the biggest one yet. Uh, and you can just see how cool is that going to look at when you're out uh, doing Pokemon go huh even with ingress if you want to do ingress you can do ingress with this so it's a double solution because it's branded for their game that's pretty cool all right we'll let that one just look cool out here and last but not least very small like a lipstick tube from unu again this is a 3000 milliamp i think uh maybe like 2800 milliamp so close to 3000 milliamp just a very small lipstick tube type uh, charger. Uh, so this is the smallest, most compact. Uh, it's gonna get you maybe a full charge, just depending uh, for your phone. So this is the most minimalist you can go. You're gonna have to provide cable again with that one. So the final piece is an accessory uh, that if you bring one of these and say you don't have the Omicur here with the bring torch or you don't wanna use the Omicur's torch to deplete its battery, you can pick up one of these guys, and I'll have a, a link in the show notes for this. This is actually a very bright torch that you can affix to the, any of these chargers except obviously the battery case for your phone. So basically all you've got to do is plug this into any of these chargers USB ports and then just turn it on and you're going to be amazed at how bright this little torch is. It's very bright. In fact, let's cut studio lights here and let me give you an idea. There you go. So all you gotta do is attach this nice little uh, attachment to a flashlight lens type to your battery bank 
and now you've got a really bright flashlight while you go Pokemon Go, and you can, if it has dual, uh, this one's only got uh, one, but if you had two, put this back in, oh, I just killed the lights. But say you had two USB banks or two USB uh, um, ports there, you could use one for a flashlight and one to charge your phone. Now, this also will, I believe, you can see you can actually do zoom in and zoom out so you can actually focus the light or get a little more broader look at it. So, very cool little device there, guys. Let me go ahead and turn the studio lights back on real quick like. There we go. Again, here's a nice look at that. I don't have links in the show notes for all of these chargers, this accessory here. This should get you any one of these, any combo of these, should get you enough juice to be out playing your Pokemon Go without draining your battery uh, in the least bit um, because you're going to have all of these backing it up. So again, check the show notes. I'll have a link for each and every one of these. You can look at them. They range in price value anywhere from like 20 bucks or even under. I think this one's maybe like 14 or 15 now or a little less. Um, all the way up to probably like 80 or 90 for some of these bigger ones. So uh, again, just check the links uh, and I'll have them in the show notes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you play Pokemon Go, give it a thumbs up. And otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one. Thank you.